start off with our number talks. And in our number talks, we never, ever, ever, absolutely, under any circumstances, raise do what? Raise our hands. Raise, raise our, our hands. hands. What do we do? We show our secret symbol. Not now, not now, not now, just wait. Okay, and we just keep this right on our hearts. And then if we know the answer, what do we do? We show how many strategies that we can use to solve it, right? Are you ready? Yes. Let's start off with 12 plus 6. Show me. did you get for your answer? I got 20. 20. Show me if you agree with Lauren. You agree with Lauren. Anybody get a different answer? Did you get a different answer? No? Okay, Lauren, tell us how you did it. I had one 10, and then uh, I had a 2 and an 8. Okay, where did you get your 10 from? So did you break this number apart? Yes. Okay, so you broke this up into 10 and, and two. 2. Okay. And then I have an 8. And then I, have and I know that I only have one 10, so I'm thinking about that for a second. Okay. And then I have the 2 and the 8 together, and I know that makes 10. And then I have 10 plus 10, and that equals 20. Okay, so you brought this other 10 over, yep. and you added, and what do you know about 10 plus 10? It's a double. It's a double, and we know our strategies for doubles, right? So 10 plus 10 is 20. Good job, give her a round of applause. Did anybody else solve it a different way? Show me if you solved it a different way. Tell me how you counted on. What did you start with? I started with So she started with 12, and then she counted 8 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, count with me, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome job. Did that work? Yes. So is counting on a strategy that we can use when we're adding? Yes. Okay, tell me this. Adeline, why didn't you start with 8? Why did you start with 12 and not with 8? Because it will take a lot longer, right? So we start with our largest number, Y. What is that word that we talked about? What is that word? Think about it, think about it, think about it. Float in your hand. Release. Efficient. Efficient. We want the most efficient way to get our answer. So we start with the biggest number and count on to 20. Okay, does anybody have a different strategy that they used? Claire, you have a different strategy? Um, it's kind of the same as Adeline's, but I, but instead of a 12, I changed it up so it's 18 and 2. 18 and 2. Okay, tell me how you did that. Um, I know that eight is larger than two, so I took the t so I took the ten, so I took the two and just changed it with the eight. Counted on two. Okay, so you broke this number apart into ten and two, and then you took this eight mm -hmm. and added it to your ten. Yes. Awesome. That's an efficient way to do it, isn't it? So ten plus eight, and you got eighteen. And then what did you do? Um, and then I counted on two That is so good. One, two, nineteen, twenty. Good job. And you know what? So I think you deserve a ten finger room. Give her a ten finger room.
Do you have an answer? What did you get for your answer? Six. Can you make it the same answer as Dia? Show me if you agree with her answer. Good job, Dia. Okay, you want to get a different answer. Jackson, what'd you get? Um, I. Did you get a different answer than sixty? But you solved it at a strategy? Okay, keep it in your brain. I'll call on you after, okay? Okay, Dia, tell me how you solved it. Well, I, um, I did a um, 2 plus 8 equals 10. Okay, so you took your 1s. Yes. 2 plus 8 equals 10. And then what did you Then I... Then um, I add the tens to the four. And yeah. Tell me what I ten? Added the, I added the ten to the forty. This ten? Yes. So you added this ten to this forty. Yes. Okay. So forty plus ten equals fifty. Okay. And then fifty plus ten equals six. Where'd you get the other 10 from? From 18. From 18. So then she took this 10, Logan, do you see this? She took this 10 and added it to 50. And what did you get? Six. Awesome job. Do you a roller coaster cheer for her? Good job, Tia. Proud of you. Okay. Jackson, you want to share your strategy? Yeah. Um, well, it's kind of like Tia's, but um, I had 42 and the 18. Okay, so you took this two away and this eight away, and what did you do? I um left the um forty and the um ten, and um I added them together. Okay. And then I had fifty, so I had eight, and then I did eight plus two equals ten. So I, my answer was six. How did you get 60? Um, I added the 8 and the 2. And you got and 10. And, got and then what did you do with these two numbers? I added them together. Oh my goodness. How did you know that 50 plus 10 equals 60? How did you know that? Because, um, like, if I took away the um, 3 from the 8, and I um, added the 3 to the 2, I would have 5 that I would have another five, and five plus five equals ten. Okay, good job. Let's give him a round of applause. Jackson, you did great thinking. Good number. Okay, anybody else solve it a different way? Different way, different way, different way. Aaron. Um, I did bridge to 50. <gasps> bridge to 50? Bridge to 50? <laughs> All right, tell us how you did bridge to 50. Um, I, um, I took the 42 and the 8, um, which, and I, and I got 50, um, then I got 50. Okay, where did you get the 8 from? I got the 8 from the 18. Oh, okay, so you took the 8 from here, and you added it? Um, and I added it to the 42, and I know that 8 plus 2 equals 10, so, so um, that means that, um, 42 plus 8 um, should equal 50, wow. and then I add oh. 10, and I add 10 left over to make 60. Where did you have that 10 from? I got the 10 from the 18. Okay, from this 18, and you added that 10 all the way over to this 50, and you got 60. 60. I'm okay. telling you, I don't know if you are second graders, this is so good. Let's give him a 10 bigger one.
Okay, so this to this. Uh -huh. okay. And then I have five. Uh, and then I have five and five. So then it was 15 plus 45. Okay, hold on just a second because you're going really fast. I want to make sure everyone is listening to you. He took this 42, added a 3 to it, and you got? By decomposing the 8. By decomposing the 8, and you got? 8. 5. Uh, 45. Just 5? 45. 45, okay. And you had this 5 left over. And I had a 5 left over and a 10, so that equals 15. Okay, so he added this 10 and this 5. And this equals 15. Okay. And I added 15 plus 45 because of, And then I know that equals 60. How do you know this equals 60? Because 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then I can, um, that's because I can... Plus 50, which is because I added the 4 and the 1. Is this a 4 and a 1? 40. 40 and a... 10. Wow, that is awesome thinking, Eli. I'm so proud of you. Look at all the different strategies we used to solve the same problem, and we all got the same answer. Give yourself a